The streets of Cairo were a battle zone again today. Huge crowds are demanding the military give up power immediately. Elizabeth Palmer is right in the middle of it. On the fifth day of violence, a group of protesters up a side street skirmished with police who fired volleys of choking tear gas. While just yards away in Tahrir Square itself, among the huge crowds of demonstrators, makeshift field hospitals are growing larger to cope with the constant flow of casualties. We saw one body being loaded into an ambulance. More than 30 protesters are thought to have died so far. The demonstrators are furious with Egypt's ruling military council, who they say has botched its role as the caretaker government. Around noon, the military tried to broker a truce between protesters and the police and held the line briefly with military vehicles. But it didn't last long. And by nightfall, the battle was on again. This is the front line. Just down there, the police and the soldiers. All around me, the protesters. It's upstairs. Suddenly, we were pulled out of the way of a stampeding mob desperate to escape yet another cloud of stinging gas. Khaled Abdullah is a political activist, and he says in the eyes of thousands of demonstrators, Egypt's generals have now lost all credibility. It is disgusting. They have to go. They have no right to have any claim on any authority to make any decisions in this country ever again. So basically, basically what we've got here, Scott, is a very ugly standoff. The generals say that they're going to stay in power until next summer with their role to be determined after that. And the demonstrators say, absolutely not. They have got to go now. Liz, those three American students are being accused of taking part in this uprising. I wonder, what's the status with them tonight? Uh, we've just heard the Egyptian news agency has announced that they are going to be detained for several more days pending an investigation. One of them, Derek Sweeney, was able to talk to his parents briefly this morning. He said their treatment was pretty rough at the start, but it's improved, and he maintains that they've done nothing wrong. Liz, thank you very much.